Uh, that's something we've heard, you know, throughout the years here at Coors Field. It's harder to pitch here than it is easier for batters to hit home runs. And so there is a science behind that. There is a science. We know altitude definitely plays a factor, but just how much and in what ways does playing at Coors Field have an advantage for the players or a disadvantage? So to answer all of those questions, <laughs> Alex Lehner took a look. Going to hit this one deep to right center field. Going back is Thomas. He's looking up. It is long gone. Call it the altitude effect. Say it's the thin air up here. From the moment the ball leaves the hands of the pitcher, here come the Rockies. Something different happens in Denver. All other variables uh, being equal, baseballs go about 5 to 10 percent further where we are uh, at Coors Field than they would at sea level. The thin air here in Denver is about 20% less dense than at sea level. Low air density means less drag on the ball, allowing it to travel further. But according to Peter Hamlington, an associate professor at the University of Colorado and an expert in fluid dynamics, there are several factors at play in Coors Field acting against the altitude effect. Many home run balls have backspin applied to them. Backspin can create a lift effect on a ball moving through the air, but this lift effect becomes weaker as you go to higher altitude. Our dry air here in Denver actually works against the ball's ability to soar quite as far. So while yes, it's thinner because of our altitude, cold dry air is actually more dense when you compare it to hot humid air. While there is more water molecules in the hot humid air, the ball can actually go a little farther because there's less drag. But perhaps the most dominant impact is found on the ball itself. After 2002, there was a noticeable difference on the distance of uh, balls hit at Coors Field, on the number of home runs. Uh, ERAs for the pitchers went down. A lot of this is because at altitude in our dry, very low humidity atmosphere, the balls themselves will dry out. In 2002, the Rockies began using a humidor. Altitude makes a ball lighter, drier, and slicker. The humidor's controlled environment of roughly 70 degrees and 50% humidity prevents that from happening. As pitchers, we're, we're pretty in tune with how a ball feels in our hands. I mean, all the way up until the point where it's literally coming off my fingertips, I can still manipulate the ball. With less air friction here in Denver, there's less control on the ball's movement between the mound and home plate. And Hirsch says he noticed Coors Field is less forgiving. If you threw a good breaking ball, a good slider, a good curve ball, it was going to do what you wanted it to do. It was the bad ones that didn't have the same level of bite that usually got hammered. And that's something where if I was down at sea level, I would still get the bite, even though it was ne not necessarily a well-executed pitch. Hirsch says it all comes down to making the altitude effect work for the Rockies, not against them. Because at the end of the day, both teams are playing in the same conditions at the same ballpark. Man, that's science behind that. That's that's crazy. And Alex, you were talking as well. Apparently, this is the <laughs> largest outfield in Major League Baseball. And what, they didn't use the humidor back during the All-Star oh, game? That's correct. why everyone was just hitting home runs at the time. <laughs> yeah, so I think the outfield plays into it being, you know, a hitter's park. You can hit the ball, and there's so much ground to cover. But the humidor thing for the, uh, the home run derby, they didn't use it to kind of showcase the impact of the humidor and what it has on the ball. And it was a historic home run derby with so many home runs hit, and it just showcased, like, hey, guys, we are trying to do something with the ball here and make it even. <laughs> but for a home run derby, we want to we wanna have a lot right. of home runs. I mean, so, yeah. It makes a huge difference. And you were talking about wind direction, too. Yeah, the wind thing is going to be really interesting when we talk about today because Coors Field is sort of a north-south north orientation. So the the south wind will be at the back of the hitter and could help carry the ball even further. So be interesting to see what the wind does for today. But as far as temperatures go, if you are heading out to Coors Field, it is going to be a very warm day. In fact, likely the warmest uh, home opener on record with first pitch at 78 degrees at 210. So definitely on the warm side for this afternoon. That's one of the things that we are watching. On top of that, it is a first alert weather day as we have high fire danger increasing across the area for a lot of people today. And then a massive change in our forecast comes today into tomorrow as strong wind with rain and snow move in. And we're talking about a big dip in our temperatures.